everyone, I'm Paul Jarvis, co-founder of Fathom Analytics, a simple privacy-focused analytics platform that lets you get valuable data and information about your website, all without spying on anyone. Sounds good, yeah? Yeah. So today, I want to walk you through some features of Fathom that you may or may not know about. So let's dive in. Say we're looking at this website. This is a website for Hilarious Platypus, our demo website. So the first thing I want to talk to you today about are filters. And filters are something we introduced a little while back that lets you filter your dashboard by specific information. So let's say we want to filter by this blog post, updates from the front line. So I'm going to click it and that will add a filter and you'll see the filter up here. So it says path is blog slash updates from the front line. So this means your dashboard and the graph and all the numbers here are filtered just by that content, just by this blog post. So let's say you want to filter by everything except the blog post. So we're going to click is and change it to is not. So now the dashboard is filtered by all content, all information that is not this page, that does not relate to this page. The cool thing about filters is that you can add several. So let's say we're looking at this. The blog post is this blog post, but now let's say I just want to see the refers to that blog post for from Use Fathom. So now I've clicked on that. So now I have two filters. So now when I go down to this data, I can see that these are all the browsers for people who came from Fathom and went to this blog post. These are all the devices for people who came from Fathom, again, the refer, and it went to this path, countries, etc. So that's how you create filters. And you can add a bunch of them. You can keep adding filters. So now there's three. And now if you want to clear them, you just click clear. So that's how you filter the dashboard on Fathom. Next, let's look at search. So say you have a lot of pages, say you have a lot of content on your website, and you just want to find one thing. So if you click on the search button and type in what you want to find and hit enter, now you can see the content just by what you search for. And say you want to show just things that relate to the blog. So you could type in the blog, you could type in blog and see just blog posts because all of these have the you have blog in the URL. So it'll automatically show you content for anything that has the word blog in it. Same with let's try video. Same basic premise is you can see these are all the pages that include the word video in the URL. You can do the same on refers and some of the other boxes too. So next, let's look at the chart. So it's a nice chart. I like this chart. But let's say you want to look at average time on the chart. Well, you click it and now you can see average time. Let's say you wanted to add bounce rate and goal completions. Well, now you've done just that by clicking these boxes. Now let's say you don't want to see site uniques or site page views. So you click on them and hide them. So click once to hide, click once to show. If you click all of them off, then you see your Fathom dashboard without any chart at all. So let's just turn these back on. The next thing I want to show you is that you can zoom in on the chart. So if you click and hold your mouse and then let go of it, you're now zoomed into a much more specific date range. You can keep doing it until you get down to basically a 24 hour period. And then if you want to get off of that, you can just click back to last 30 days, last seven days, whatever you want. So the next thing I think not everybody knows about is that you can click on these numbers and they show from the actual number to the percentage. It also changes the previous range numbers in here. So if you click on these, it shows numbers, click on them again, it shows percentages. And that's just a simple toggle, just in case you want to see percentages or specific numbers. And if you didn't know, you can mouse over any of the numbers and see the exact number. So if on the dashboard, it shows 55.2K, you mouse over it and it shows 55,214 views. So that's the dashboard, but there's one more thing I want to show you, and that is the extra page we added to Fathom a little while ago called All Sites. So if you click on your site name, your dashboard name, click All Sites, now you can see this. This is a new screen that we've added where you can see all of your sites, all of your data for all your dashboards, all on a single page. And these we just created for this demo, so they're not actually real. So these all show zeros. But on your sites, you if you had more than one site, you probably have data in all of the things. Maybe, maybe not. 
And if you click on this box at the top, these little, um, what's that, a list, I guess, you can reorganize them. So that's the All Sites page. This is a brand new page in the Fathom Analytics dashboard. And if you click back on All Sites, click back over to any dashboard you want, you can now see the dashboard. So that's it. Those are a few things you may or may not know about on the Fathom dashboard. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're curious and you don't use Fathom, maybe you want to join thousands of companies like GitHub and Fastmail and Buffer who are using Fathom on their website. So check out usefathom.com for more information and maybe sign up for a seven-day free trial. Thanks again for watching. Take care.